Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, lads and lasses, males and females, aliens and predators, Tom and Jerry, Bangers and Mash, Abbott and Costello, oh where was I? Oh yeah, welcome to the weekly news! In the important news this week, dinner bone enthuses about his newfound fluency, Molstan pays landlord to some noms, and Chris Gelbring shares some terrifying secrets with the world. If you follow any of the Mojang team on Twitter, or even any of the well-known Minecraft modders, you'll have heard the words PAX East mentioned a lot this week. That's because most of them were at the big Boston-based convention from the 22nd to the 24th of March. Mishaps aside, such as Dinnerbone's fiancé losing her luggage, and Uber modder Pahima succumbing to PAX Pox in the first day, it sounded like a great time was had by all. It was closely followed by GDC, the Game Developers Conference in San Francisco, which finished just today. All in all, two very good reasons why there's not been much Mojang news this week. Bookworm noises are detected as UK children's book publishers Egmont has stated that they are publishing a series of four Minecraft books varying between a beginner's handbook and a redstone handbook. They are primarily aimed at beginners and there are plans for a Minecraft annual, poster book and official magazine too, but the books excite us the most. We want to see how they stack up against our wiki video series. Available for free at all good interdate sites, mainly YouTube. These papery tomes should be available to buy come September 2013. Our good friend Sasha Varel featured this incredible map on the Minecraft forum this week. Yep, it's Zelda-tastic and full of updated 1.5 features, having been originally posted in 2011. Based on the SNES title Legend of Zelda Link to the Past, Sasha Varel stressed that this isn't just a homage, but rather a blow-by-blow -blow as close as possible game within a game, as we saw with Hypixel's story-driven map last week. If you're a big fan of the Zelda series, or just excited by retro story-driven games, you'll enjoy the themes this map slash game has to offer, recognising key places and characters even in the blocky Minecraft forums. It's well worth a playthrough and has a lot to offer. Mad props to the creator, Peanuts363, all necessary links are below. In the snippet section of the news, Minecraft XBLA has sold over 6 million copies to date, which is an incredible feat. Not only that, Title Update 9 is in cert testing currently and will hopefully be released over the next few weeks. On the PC side of things, you may have noticed that there is no snapshot this week. That will continue to be the norm for the next few weeks as the team work on update 1.5.2, which was specifically requested by the team behind Minecraft's latest feature, Realms. Secretive and exciting, no? There's not been much news on card battling game Scrolls for a while, but this latest announcement more than makes up for it. That's right folks, Scrolls is coming to beta in April. It's seen tremendous amounts of updates and improvements since it was brought to Alpha, and Jacob, the lead developer on the game, wants to bring the game out in beta for a reduced amount of monies, allowing more features to be added to a larger audience. Sound familiar? It should do, that's the same release model they used to make Minecraft, and hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. However, the fact I'm now speaking instead of Toby marks the culmination of this week's news. If he was speaking, we'd still be going, but he's not, so we're not. Except, of course, to shout at you to click here for last week's news and over here for an upcoming video explaining just exactly what to do with all that 1.5 redstone stuff in your inventory. If you haven't followed or liked our Twitter and Facebook pages, then shame on you. You can do so below. That's it, folks. Thanks again for watching. Off you pop.